With us now from Las Vegas, CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz and Jen Easterly, Director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. Good morning to you both and thanks for being with us. George, let me start with you. On your last earnings call, you said that you were seeing the deal cycle lengthen, especially from SMBs. What have you seen over the last few weeks and what is the risk that some of these companies pause adoption altogether? What would be the risk more broadly for everyone else? Well, I think when you think about security, obviously it's something that organizations are going to need. And in fact, when we see a downturn in the economy, we see some of these layoffs, uh, it's an area that's of great exposure to many companies. Uh, and it's a time when adversaries continue their relentless attacks. So uh, from a cyber perspective, uh, the demand is there. Uh, companies need it. There's a lot of regulatory requirements around it. And uh, the reason why we're at CES is because this is all about technology and where there's technology, there's risk and uh, security is needed. So, um, you know, we continue to see that from SMB uh, in terms of the need all the way up to enterprise. And um, again, it's managing risk and making sure that companies are secure in a, uh, a very turbulent time. But George, are you seeing those deal cycles lengthen or adoption pausing? Any information or color you can give us from the last few weeks? Well, what we've seen, and we've talked about this in the past, is that companies continue to add more layers of approval uh, just because in their own operations, they, uh, you know, they're managing their own budgets. Uh, and that's what we've you know, continued to see and uh, nothing new to add uh, since our last earnings call. Okay, Director Easterly, um, what I'm getting at here is that maybe cybersecurity isn't as resilient as the market thought last year we have seen these lengthening deal cycles and we know that it doesn't necessarily take a vulnerability at a major company but it could be a vendor or something way back in the supply chain so what would you tell CEOs or CFOs that are lengthening that process about the importance of continued spend on cybersecurity when they're facing pressure from investors to cut costs yeah I'd say a couple things first of all uh, we get caught up in calling it cybersecurity it really is a matter of cyber safety, consumer safety. You know, we live in a world that is highly connected, highly interdependent, where the critical infrastructure that Americans rely on every hour of every day to get water and health care and power and communications and transportation is underpinned by a technology base that is basically unsafe. So it's absolutely critical that we come to cyber security, cyber safety, with a much more sustainable approach. What does that mean? That means that technology companies who for decades have been creating products and software that are fundamentally insecure, they need to start creating products that are secure by design and secure by default with safety features baked in. You can think about it like automotives that come with seat belts and anti-lock brakes and crumple zones and airbags. That's what we need as consumers to be demanding from our technology. We've somehow normalized the fact that we've accepted that technology software and products come with dozens and hundreds and thousands of flaws and defects. And we've normalized the fact that we've basically placed the burden of cyber safety on consumers who least understand the threat and are least prepared to be able to deal with it. Cybersecurity will continue to be a big industry and CrowdStrike is a great partner. Uh, but at the end of the day, the cybersecurity industry is uh, created because technology companies fundamentally have created products that are insecure by design and we need to fundamentally change that if we're gonna have sustainable approach to a defensible cyber ecosystem.